I come quickly. Be ready. Good evening, brothers and sisters in Christ, and all my family and friends. This is Karen Ferrara, and I wanted to share an amazing dream that I had last night. Well, before I went to bed, you know, every so often I pray to God to please let me dream of heaven. You know, a lot of times he does give me a dream. He lets me see glimpses. Well, I did have a beautiful dream last night about heaven. We were all in this big, wide open space. Now, I don't remember seeing what heaven looked like. And I remember knowing that God was telling me, I didn't hear it audibly, audibly, but I understood that he didn't want me to see how beautiful it was because he wants it to be a surprise. But what I did see was endless, endless people and all the people were grouped by their family. It was endless rows of families, big families, and everybody that lost the loved one found them in heaven. Now, I don't know if this was the rapture and God took whole families up at the same time, or it could have been the rapture and people seen their families that had passed on before, but all the families were grouped together. And Jesus was right in the middle. And I remember I was sitting down and I was just looking at the families. And I remember hearing beautiful music playing in the background. I don't remember the song. I've never heard it before. But I just started crying uncontrollably because when I realized how much Jesus went through, to save us. And he's not just in- interested in saving just you. He wants to save your whole family. And it was beautiful. And Jesus was just so happy to see big families together in heaven. So please, I ask all of you, if you have relatives who aren't saved, please pray for them. And if you have relatives that have passed on, please don't be so sad because nobody is lost with Jesus. He doesn't just want individuals. He wants to save your whole family. So please pray for your families. Talk to them about Jesus. Tell them how to be saved, to go to Jesus and ask him to make you become his child. And I also wanted to say that we don't have much time. Um, Things are changing daily. And we're on the brink of World War III. And these wars were foretold in the Bible. The last days, according to the Bible, are being fulfilled right now. It's, It's helping me to believe that we are closer to the end than we think. And we may be closer to that reunion in heaven than we think. So please, if you're not saved, now is the time. We're not guaranteed tomorrow. And now more than ever, more than ever, we need to go to Jesus now. He's the only way to be saved. There is no other way. There, no other religion. There's only one way to be saved, and that is through Jesus, because he paid the price that we would have to pay. He bought our ticket to heaven. We are the defendants. And God the Father is the judge, and Jesus is the one who steps in and says, I will take her punishment or his punishment. But in order to get that deal, you have to plead guilty. Plead guilty that knowing that we all deserve, we all deserve not to go to heaven. We don't deserve salvation. We have to plead guilty knowing that we all have sinned. And take the prosecution's offer, which is Jesus. And he steps in and took our punishment 
so that we can be saved. So I want to say that I'm praying for all of you. I'm praying for all of my family. I want all of my family to be saved and be with me in heaven. So everybody, please pray for your family. And thank you for listening. God bless you.